So using this very, very clean on one side, ridged with white paint on the other side. Using this knife, I want to take it right here to the top. Okay. Very lightly. Grip the edge and then just start dragging it down and letting that paint break as I go down. And it goes on quite thick. And this is what the knife looks like afterwards. So it gets really polluted. So I can wipe it on the edge of my plate like that. Or I can wipe it on my towel, my beat up towel. Get another ridge, just like this. Take it right up to this edge. Lay it down. And just very gently. Bring it over like so. And anywhere where I was to draw an imaginary line through the middle of that mountain. Anywhere I see something like that, I want to take this white paint on the right and to pull it down. Just like that. Into nothingness. Just like we did with our with our mist. Okay. Load up some more. Got this sort of ridgy part right there. Lay it down. And just bring it cascading down the slope of my mountain. Like so. And maybe down here, maybe I want to give it a little bit more definition. So I can start scraping just like that. And the motion that I'm doing is just like if I was to scrape bread, toasted bread, with a butter knife. That's basically what we're doing. Let me show you from down there. Just like that. Just that. So up here, where I've got the paint on pretty heavily, take that knife. Scraping bread with butter. Pull it like so. Now I can wipe off that blade and my chunky towel just like that. Okay. And with that clean knife, I can go back and do the same thing to this one. It just softens the edges just a little bit. Very light. Just spread that out. And now we're starting to get these beautiful details on the slope of our mountain with very little work. See how nice that looks? And you can do this too. Okay. Let's go ahead and clean that prog or the knife. Wipe it off the only towel. And let's go ahead and get this edge right here. Just toasting bread.
So in the course of doing these, uh, these peaks, I got a little bit onto our sky there. No big deal. I'll brush that out shortly. But let's go ahead and finish putting on these, these highlights. Now that you know the general idea. So we'll just go ahead and bring the plate at the top, lay it on the edge, and pull. And pull. And pull. And pull. And the side. My trash can. Got a little peak going here, so I'm just going to add just a tiny, tiny little bit right there. Clean that up and make it prettier here in just a moment. Don't have much more over here. I got that little one right here. So this is where I can use the short edge of the knife. Just put a little tiny dollop right there. See? And we've got one right there, so we'll go ahead and add a highlight. And one right there. Go ahead and do the mountain further in the back. That's ready to paint. And now you know how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw that on there. Because this is further away, I don't need as much detail. It's okay if it's a little mistier, a little bit wispier. Not a problem. In fact, we probably prefer that. Which is why I'm being a little bit less ginger with the paint. Got a peak right here, shining to the right. So we're going to highlight that. If I want, I can change the direction a little bit. And this is a little bit more complicated, but it can add a whole lot of depth and dimension to your painting. So watch, you just make a little spine like that. And then just start dragging down from it. Like so. And when we put the shadows on, you'll see what that looks like. We can do one here too. I'll show you again. Let's just put a spine. like that. It can be any shape we want, doesn't matter. And then just start adding in to the right side. Mind you, it's got to be to the right, because that's where our highlights are. Now if we start over pulling, you see what happens. I get too much blue in there, so I'm going to clean my knife again. So i got to get the bottom of this spine. I think this will make a lot more sense once we get the shadows on. Okay. All right. Let's keep finishing up our one in the back. Just got a little bit more to do here. Got a little, little guy in the back here. Let's go ahead and get him and his buddy. And that's about it. Now we do the shadow side. So I told you we'd be using the sky color again. So sorry. So this is the color that we used as the base color for our sky. We're going to use it again. So we're going to mix it with a touch of black and a touch of white. And we don't need the whole pile. Okay, so we're gonna take the lighter part of the pile. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off, bring it over to my highlight plate. So I'm gonna mix white with it anyways. And I'm gonna take a touch of the burnt just like this. Keep that slate color going. And the burnt umber just simply gives it a little bit more of a dark 
darkness. It kind of dulls it down so it's not quite a radioactive looking blue. It's a little bit stonier. Let's go ahead and get some of that white right there. Let's light this up a little bit. I don't want it too dark. So it's the thalo blue, titanium white that we used for the sky, and then a touch of a uh, burnt umber. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. Well, actually, let's go ahead and I do want to use a little bit more of that. I don't want it to look exactly like the sky. I don't think I've made it different enough yet. That's going to be very pretty. Just makes it a little bit earthier, a little bit more natural. Looks good. All right, so I wipe my knife, load it up just like we did before. Okay, and now follow the same process we did before, except we're going to do it right. Instead of starting at the top edge, we're going to start where the highlights end and bring it to right there and then pull. Pulling along the line that our peak makes. Again, letting it break as we go down. Like we're making toast with butter on it. And I put that on really thickly. A little bit too much actually, so that's why I'm not cleaning my uh, knife yet. No, I'm gonna it. Okay. We're gonna take a little bit less this time because that was too severe. Bring it right up to the edge where I want the two sides to meet and start making my angles away from the highlights and into the shadows. And it's okay that I don't go all the way down. That natural depression right there it's okay that I leave that in shadow. It'll look better when I'm done. Okay. Clean to the knife. Got just a very, very tiny ridge. That's too much. I'm gonna put it there. That's a good ridge. Get right up here to the edge and bring it down. Now, because I left that depression there, I'm gonna bring this edge up as well. And all I have to do to do that is just bring that knife over, like so. Natural darkness right there, depression. Clean the knife, wipe it, very slight ridge, and add my shadows all the way down. You notice I don't go all the way down to the mountain floor though, we'll see why here. We want to keep that misty effect at the bottom. Didn't really pollute that knife, so I'm just going to reload it. Now here, I've got a very awful lot of white, so I'm going to kind of lay that on thick, but i got to be careful. I don't ruin this peak, and if I do, i got to go reapply. And here, I just want to set it down, and then butter the toast. Okay? Knife is pretty clean. Reload. Just like that. And that one, I need to use the thinner part of the knife. So here we go. Just like that. See how nice that looks? Reload. Nice ridge right there. Bring it right out to the highlights. Just like that. And then pull. So I did that. 
Leave that alone. It's okay. And because this ridge goes up so high, you really can't see on the back. Imagine that the angle is like this. Okay? You really can't see that knife now, even though the ridge is right there, like so. From a certain angle, you can't see it. That's kind of what's going on here. Okay? Let's put the touch right here a little bit more. Now, I can, I'm going to risk polluting that white if I don't stop. So, I start getting a little carried away and things get away from me. So, restraint's a good thing sometimes. Okay. Let's finish this up. Reload the knife. Here we go. Right up to the edge of the highlights. And then hold that. Wipe the knife, reload the knife, bring it right up to the edge, butter the toast, butter the toast, see that? Wipe the knife, it's polluted, reload, very, very small ridge right there, not much. Right here on this edge, and then butter in the toast. And I've got just a little bit right there, and that's good enough. Okay, we're gonna leave that for a second. Now we're gonna go wipe my knife, reload very, very thinly. I don't want much on this at all. That's it, that's all we want. Because the mountain's so much smaller. Bring it right up to the edge on this further mountain of the highlights. I still need to get it up here onto this edge, so I didn't load the knife very well. So I'm kind of moving it up. Yeah, that's better. And butter the toast. Notice, I'm leaving this vacant. That's where that mist is. Okay. Load the knife. Make sure it's even. Come up here. Right up to the edge of the highlight. And then follow the edge of the peak. Like that. Right here I've got that real tiny little guy. But you still want to shadow it. It'll still make it sing really tiny peak right in front of it. Use the smaller part of my knife and just lay down the shadow. Lay down the shadow. See that? Got a little shadow right there. Let's just go ahead and empty the knife. And I've got this big shadow here. Reload the knife. On this one, I can start at the edge of the peak as long as I make sure it gets up to the edge of the highlights. It's all very, very important for it to look right. Okay. Remember, this is where we added a spine, so I'm going to bring it down like that. I've got a little trough right here. So we'll go ahead and butter some toast there. Okay. Then we'll finish down here where it's getting mistier. You notice I'm not really reloading the knife, I'm just sort of using up what's left off. Right up to the edge of the highlight. Okay? And that is the first part of doing the highlights. The second part, which is very important, really, really, really good. You're going to need a dry brush, a clean dry brush. So, this brush I did not need well enough. My recommendation is to use two brushes. I would use a medium or a detail brush along with your fan brush. Okay. Make sure that they're both clean. Right. And using some of that white that we have left over just a little bit. Just load up the tip of the paintbrush like so. And just very gently suck a little bit of white right here along these bottom 
parts. I'm staying away from the really thick paint here. You'll see why in just a moment. Okay, just kind of loading that in. Okay, a little bit more white. Just reloading right here. And that is good enough for now. And what I want to do with that. This fan brush. Make sure it's nice and dry. And I'm brushing into the mountain. Okay, let's see that again. And I'm just sort of misting out the bottoms. Let me do that real slowly for you. Okay. So you can see it. See how that looks? And you're just sort of tapping bottom of the mountain into melting. If it starts to get polluted on your brush, just wipe it off. Clean it with thinner if you need to. And again, just start tapping out the bottoms. Make them real soft. Kind of hazy at the bottom. Okay. See how paint comes onto your brush doing that? And anywhere where it's a little bit too severe, which you think should be softer, just start brushing it just like that. I do a little stuff. See right here. It's all too severe. Let's get some better light. See that? So I'm just gonna press. I'm doing this very slowly. I'm not pressing hard. And you'll notice I still want to keep this jaggedy part up here the way it is. But see that line? That's clearly that knife line. So I want to go ahead and kind of smooth that out a little bit, make it a little bit more natural. So I'll just take the edge of the bristles and very lightly merge. Soften, soften where that, uh, that joint was. Like this met up with that line going up like so. I gotta be careful because I don't wanna completely wipe out the knife work. The knife work is what makes these beautiful effects. It makes it look like these really craggy rocks and cliffs and all the other cool things that I love about mountains. So I'm gonna blend it into nothingness. Just where it's really, really, really intense and severe. Particularly at the bottoms. That's where we're trying to sort of brush out. Soften it. See that? Rinse the brush. Brush on the towel. Now, I want a little bit more white right there. So all I gotta do is drop it in. Just like that. And you see how I'm going right over the uh, burnt umber? Not a big deal. As long as I don't bring the burnt umber back. Okay. Wipe the uh, brush. A little bit more white right here. Same thing. As long as I don't bring the burnt umber up, I can pull down. Looks really, really nice. Okay. Up here, soften this a little bit. This is the corner of the brush. I put it on pretty thickly up here, like I said, so it's okay to soften that out a little. Looks good. Leave that alone. Uh, I do want to bring some white over here to the side. Right 
here. I didn't quite get the knife to the edge, so I'm just gonna move that out a little bit. And if it's a little wispy, it's okay because top of a mountain you've got the winds blowing like crazy. It probably would be blowing some snow around. It's not a big deal, right? Wipe the brush. Let's go to this next one. Mountain next door, so same deal. Just softening up the bottom. Just very lightly. Scrubbing out the bottom of the bristles. Like that. And anywhere where I think it's a little bit too severe. Just softening. Now, right here I got a little bit this mountain onto that one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and brush that out. And let's get a little bit of white down here at the bottom, just like we did the first mountain. Nice and misty and soft. Brush, thinner, trash can, towel. So I said we would do something about this little error up here. As long as the brush is nice and clean, all I have to do is just brush it out very lightly. That just becomes part of our sky, just like that. We've got a real severe edge right there. See, I'm using a clean bristle edge. Just clean that up a little bit. Okay, so I went too far. So now what do I do? I messed up. What I do is I would take, I can either make the mountain bigger or make the sky bigger. And in this case, I want to make the sky bigger. So when I make the mountain bigger, it's going to be too big for this next plane right there. So I'm basically going to take some of that sky color we had left over, right here, okay. and I'm just going to drag it down like that. So I did that, and now our sky's fixed. And it really is that simple. Now it's fixed. Looks good. We're ready to move on. So I'll see you in the next part, how we do foothills and a foreground.